guys welcome back to my channel um i'm gonna be doing an unboxing video for you guys today and i know what you're thinking unboxing video yeah we've seen your stuff we've seen your funkos you've seen your toys you never open them you never unbox them but today for the first time ever well when i was younger as a kid i opened them obviously but in my old adult life i don't open them anymore i like to have them in the, in the clamshell in the case it's like the way they look but on this video I'm actually going to be unboxing this guy, Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th Part 3, from the lovely people at Mesco Toys. There he is right there, and I will get into all the little details, and I'm going to actually open it. I know, it sounds crazy. I'm going to actually open it. I know, it's weird. I'm a little nervous about it, <laughs> to be honest, but... Um, yeah, we'll take a deep dive into this and see. Pitchfork, fireplace poker and spear gun, uh, collective display base and adjustable posing post, six interchangeable hands, two interchangeable heads, and two removable masks. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, huh? Let's let's just dive right into it because uh, pose, play, display. It says right here at the bottom. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it for you guys, cause uh, like I said, I don't usually open it, but I'm gonna open this one for you. And also, special shout out to the homie Regal Lucaro who got, who gifted this to me. Uh, he was nice enough to send this to me. He knows how much of a horror fan I am, and he's also an action. Uh, he also collects figures as well. So I'm gonna link his YouTube channel um, to all my Hispanic um, viewers. You guys probably aware of him. He's a pretty popular uh, singer. In the Spanish music community, so um, but he also collects figures. He's such a geek like us, loves Dragon Ball, loves um, nostalgia. So he he's he's just like us. So it's really cool. So I'll link his uh, channel um, on the description. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yapping. Let's, let's let's get in. Let's open this box already. Come on, come on. All right, here it is. I'm actually opening the box. As you can see, I know it's very strange. Strange for me to watch me doing this, but here we go. So I'm trying to be very careful with the box and not bent anything or make any creases. Just trying to be very careful. Because there's a lot of small pieces, as you can see. So I was trying to be very careful with the display box there. So as you can see, totally well packaged, you know, covered up perfectly there with the little plastic bag. And they've got the plastic case around them. The hands are all in it. There's no tape in it, so it's not really normal. you got to rip them off. But, you know, but everything is snug in there. And it comes with this little... Uh, piece of paper with the welcome to the 112 inch collective design but collectors for collectors so that was pretty neat so on the back you got the what's the posable the adjustable pose post so you can hold them up in certain angles right there and then let's see what else we got here we got yeah we got the hands we already showed them that cool let's come on okay let's get them out finally come on nope not yet all right what are we going to do what do you want to do or trying to take the plastic off. So, you know, if you notice, I'm doing this with one hand. One hand's recording, the other hand's trying to open it. So, yeah. I'm not a professional toy reviewer, so <laughs> bear with me. I'm trying to uh, take this out, like I said, very carefully so I don't mess anything up. All right, there it is. There we go. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So here we are looking at Jason from Part 3, who, play, who was played by Richard Brooker, uh, who sadly is not, no longer with us. Rest in peace, Mr. Brooker. Um, Friday, Friday the 13th Part 3 was directed by Steve Miner, if you guys remember. It's the first one that, uh, using that 3D technology at the time. There's that famous mask that you see in the poster final chapter for the final chapter, Part 4. Uh, but I'm jumping ahead there. But yeah, here we go. Hands. There's the axe with some blood on it. And you see on the back, you can see the little holder that's going to hold them up. You got to have a machete. Classic machete. And then I get the pitchfork there with some blood on it. I was gonna have some blood. So let's take him out. So notice one thing I noticed right away when I opened him, like, wow, he's kinda it's kinda small. A little smaller than the NECA figures. You no, know, it's the 112 inch. But um uh but in, in the detail that, that comes in it, it's it's like it's second to none. It's it's amazing, especially for like having a little smaller figure. Like when uh, when you see when I take the plastic off the mask in the face, you'll see it's 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 unbelievable. I think you can see him with the closer. See how swole up he is. See his neck. Pants got the boots. Now, I don't know if Jason knows how to tie his, tie his laces. So if he's got boots with no laces, not sure. So I don't know if his mom ever taught him to tie his laces. But here we go. 
So yeah, as you can see there, really cool figure. So as you can see, I'm slowly taking the mask off because I don't want to make that plastic off. And look at this, look at that, figure. look at that detail. It's unbelievable. Look how great that looks. It's so awesome. I love that. So detailed from his mouth to his teeth. The eye color, the paint. I mean, the paint job is. Oh, there goes the mask. See you. Um, and that blur. It's. Let me sorry about that. So there you go. When he's super clear. I mean, look at that. The dents on his head, on his forehead, the wrinkles on his neck, on his chin, on the nose, his ear. What it, what's that left of it, anyways? <laughs> so yeah. So I just want to show you through really quick how easy it is to take the mask off and how the perfect snug fit. It fits right in. So I'm gonna use, you know, you don't have to hold any pressure to it as well. You can just kind of slide it right off and it goes right back in. Look at that detail on that mask too, so cool. And like I said, just from, I'm trying to show you the side views where you can see the straps, where it just slightly goes in, it's very snug. And uh, as a kid, I've always been a little perfectionist. I have to have it down, dry where you can see his eyes. If not, it's gonna bug me. Let's see, Let's see I, keep, I keep messing with it to make sure it's on there, right? So yeah, look how smooth that is just to take it off and put it back on. It's really easy. It's so cool. And if it's perfect, I mean, look at that. It's a perfect, perfect fit. I love it. Um, that got the cool straps right there in the back. And uh, oh, are you going to do it again? Okay. Show the people again. All right. It's so much fun. <laughs> I have to do it again and again just to show you guys. Are we done? We're good? Can we move on? All right. So yeah, there we go. Bloody Machete. So, you know, I got to hands I got to give hands off to um, Ali for uh, taking one for the team here on this one. So uh, that's gotta be all these blood on that machete, right? Yeah, one of Jason's victims. And uh, we're gonna get the pitchfork. Not sure if it's on from uh, part two, but there we go. Get the blood, it's really cool detail. You know, it's just cool to have a bunch of accessories. I love that. You know, J. Joe's always had a bunch of guns and machine guns, so Jason's got, you know, he's got a lot of arsenal. So here we go, the famous uh, movie poster for part three. The money on 3D, so you have the blade coming through the shower curtain. And uh, so yeah, so if you notice, it's only got the one little bump there. So and both boots have the hole. So you can place either the left foot or the right foot on it. But um, on this one, it's only got the one. But it, you know what? It, it all you all you need is one. When I place that on there, it's enough to hold it. So it's, it's really snug. So it's really cool. Here's the axe that uh, Chrissy took to Jason's dome. Um, if, you, if you remember, that's how he got that famous gash on his mask. And um, so that's got to be Jason's blood right there. I'm going to put that down. And uh, what do we got next? Oh, so there it is. There's the mess. And there's the famous gash right there that uh, Chrissy took to his dome and gave that nice little gash to him right there. So I'm going to put that down gently there. Don't you, don't shake your head at me, Jason. There we go. Okay, so speaking of that gash, let's show you. So, you know, nothing to lose your head over. It's, uh, it's going to happen right here. There you go. Looks like you got a splitting headache on that one for sure. Look at that. Again, the detail, right? Look at that. Same same look, but now he's got the gash of bloodied up face. Look how amazing is that? So awesome. I love that. And it's like, again, the little hole that just pops off. I'll show you later how easy it is to pop the head off and on. But look at that. I just can't. I'm, I'm staring at it again and all, just looking at it and just amazed how beautiful it looks for being such a, you know, horrific and disfigured face. I think it looks beautiful. I right, put that down. What else we got? Yeah, give me a hand here. Straighten it up. All right. All right, don't show me that hand. Put it away. What else we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. You gonna show me there? All right, cool. There we go. So there's the so it came with four interchangeable hands, and there's well easy to um, take off as well. And I'll show you later. That looks creepy. It's just Jason's head and his three hands there <laughs> crawling out. So that looks cool. Try to put on a white box so you can kind of see the little detail in it. So each hand like has so you can see the fingers out like a trigger finger. For the spear gun, um, we've got the cool 3D gag in the movie. Um, so again, there's the display, and there's the head. Some hands again, just to get a better look at them. So again, machete, pitchfork, axe, so cool. And on the back, there's more. So when you open the back, I'll say, check this out. There's even more. That's awesome. So but wait, there's more. So again, trying to do it with one hand, and I make sure the Freaking weapons don't go flying off, then I'll lose them on the, on the carpet. Because the toy, I was very meticulous. I'd never like to lose my toys or accessories. I always had to make sure they had all of them. If I lost one, it was over. It was game over. So there we go. We got the hunter's knife, the spear gun. There we go. And there's the um, post hold. And there's the hot poker. If you guys remember the movie, you know who got that. 
And there it is. There's the knife. Uh, same. Say, oh, there's the butcher knife. The knife, I was saying the hunter knife. The what's, I forget her name. She got the Kevin Bacon treatment on that one. And they got that blood right there. Flip it over. I'm trying to get it. There you go. You know, just a cool little meat cleaver. You know, if it's cool. You know, give me a little wrench. Okay, we can, you can't. All right, keep it still. Anybody, stop moving. Get it in focus. You're killing me, dude. Come on. You got it? There we go. That'll work. All right, cool. All right, I need to put that down now. I mean, the people saw it. Thanks. All right, let's move on. And there we go. There's a cool spirit gun. Look at that. If you guys remember, he has that sweet gag, the 3D gag in part three. There it is. How cool is that? It's so cool. I mean, like I said, he's got a lot of kills in this one and different weapons. And there's the poker. It's, it's not shiny red like it was in the movie, but it's still cool. It's got the blood on it. I love it. I'll take it. More accessories for Jason. Got more accessories than G.I. Joe almost. And this is what's really neat. I, I dug this. When I saw this, I'm like, what is this rolled up in the back? It's like a little bag, like a little Ziploc bag. One, right there, 112 collectibles. And uh, you can put all the accessories in there. And, you know, best believe I'm putting them in there. So I am not I'm about to lose any of the weapons uh, or the or the four detachable hands or the extra mask and the head. So I get comes with two heads, two masks, and it comes with the display base and the adjustable posing post right there, which you can turn and twist. Very simple. I'll show you. Um, it comes with that. So remember, um, all the posts right there. It comes with the axe, the cleaver, the knife, the wrench, machete pitchfork, fireplace, poker, and spear gun. And there's the um, adjustable posing post. It's so really easy to twist and open. It's really cool. Six interchangeable hands. I don't know why I said four. I forgot the two that were already on them. Duh. Six interchangeable hands, two interchangeable heads, and two removable removable masks. So all in all, man, you get a lot. You get a lot of um, bang for your buck. Um, you know, it's got the intricate tailored costuming. And 30 points of articulation. That's what I dig the most. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. Um, so, yeah, if you look here, there's that little stuff I was talking about, the little bump where you can just put it on this boot. So, if you look, both of them have the hole. So, you can you choose the right foot or the left foot. And it's really easy to hold once you place it, once you find it. I can't, I, apparently, I can't. I'm having a hard time. So, I'm going to do it off camera. So, I'm probably getting mad now. Don't break it. Be cool. Be cool. Come on, Fonzie. Be cool. There we go. So I finally got it, I think. If he doesn't fall, success. We did it. All right. Now what are we looking for? We're we looking for a weapon. All right. Place him down. There you go. So there he is, standing by himself. Look at that. And you can put it, you can put it in the back, you know, to hold him. But right now, like I said, you can place him by itself, and he'll stay there on his own. So there's the arms articulation. Here we go. Which I really dig. Um, I was always a fan of like um, like GI Joe figures again with the articulation. So the fact that uh, we have a Jason figure with all his articulation is amazing. So I think I'm gonna make him fly. I think I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to place it on there. Hold it, grip him. It's the claw. You hold it, grab him, and now he's super Jason. Now you can fly. Uh, so there you go. So now that you can hold him, pose him if you want to put him display in a cool like glass display. You know, put that in the back. It'll hold them. See, holds pretty, it's pretty strong grip. Holds them, and you can fly. There you go. See, told you, you can fly. Hey, Jason. <laughs> and then let's see what else we got here. So, okay. So now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put the machete in them. Um, I had to notice I had to pull the fingers out a little bit just to get it in there. Um, some of the hands are easier to hold the weapons, but I think that's the main hand to hold the weapons. It wasn't too hard to place it in there, as you can see. So there he looks, there he is. Look how cool it looks. Holding the blade, holding the machete. So rad. So same with the, the axe here. So this has got the same hand. I haven't moved it yet. Just kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to pop off. Just like that. Man, as a kid, that would scare the crap out of me. If I broke it, then you were it. That was it. Thumbs up. Game over. But now, they make it so easy just to pop in and pop off. Change the hands. Give it a grip. Look at that. Articulation. Once it's in there, it's 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 tight. It's snug in there, really, really tight. So I dug that. So I was trying to have him hold the axe with one hand and then hold the other one like that, just to kind of show you how cool it looks. So for him to hold it, 
as you can see I'm cheating holding it with the thumb but you can see how cool it looks when he's holding it he's about to do some damage some crystal lake campers about to see the demise here demise here pretty soon but I mean look at that articulation right there switch to the wrist and the and the axis switch swinging back and forth I love it so rad oh the mask is off that's bugging me thank you thank oh what are you doing? Taking it off again? Well, you know what's funny? He takes it off in the movie a lot. So it's it's only fitting that I, I take it off in, in the review. So there we go. And I'm back. Uh, he, Jason loves the camera. Look at him. Likes to show off without the mask. So it's easily removable. See that? Pops right off. Love it. And I'm going to show you. See, sometimes you got to just open the fingers just a little bit. It'll slide right in. So pitchfork holds it one handed too. Jason's a strong guy. He can hold it one hand. See, now he's about to go do some farming, you know. And the mean, you know, when he's not killing kids, campers, he does a little farming around his, uh, around the, around his cabin. 3D effect. That was a 3D effect there for you. You guys didn't notice. And uh, let's see. Now what am I doing? What are you doing? All right. Let me show the hands again. Oh yeah, there you go. Move the arms up and down. Side to side. There we go. Twist the wrist. We did that already. And then uh, oh, the leg action. Here we go. I don't know what the heck that thing is flying in the bias. Yeah, get out of there. Thanks. So there's the, le there's the knees, legs. Oh, great. Nice twist of the knee. Perfect. Look at that. The boot. Look at the ankle. I love how the wrinkle of the boot looks like it's moving too. How cool is that? That little detail, man. Just a little sweet detail like that. So amazing. I dig that. Um, right there, the legs. So they got the knee articulation. I didn't twist them to the left and right, so I didn't want to untuck his shirt. I know it's weird. Now uh, I'm making him do some weird humping. Uh, motion now is weird, okay, but I but it, like I said it moves worse. Next, the neck and head twist, or the, I'm sorry, the head twist, not the neck. Sorry, that's twisted back and forth. And uh, here we go. Here's the X, or the, I'm sorry, the knee cleaver. Here we go. Super easy. That one went in nice. But again, I don't like the way he's holding it, so I got to move it up. See, I'm so weird that way. Kind of have him hold it right. I can't have him hold it right by the blade. I'm so weird that way. Uh, and there you go. So we got the. Um, Cleaver coming right at you. A little 3D. Try to do a little 3D effect there for you. Oh, there you go. And the mask. Oh, I saw. Did you see that? You notice it got tongue. It got a little bit hung up on his mouth. So you might want to be careful when you put it on the mask. It might get hung up there on the bottom of the lip. I just noticed that. So make sure when you do put it, just go a little bit over. But again, super smooth to just put that mask on and take it back off again. So overall, man, I'm super stoked with this figure. It's awesome. I'm loving it. it like I said, all the. All the accessories and uh, the the design of his face, the, the look of it, the clothes. I mean, like I said, oh, here I'm trying to reenact the, the scene in the movie when Chrissy takes the axe to his head. We'll see how well I do. So I was trying to see if it would stick to that little cut. I was trying to jam it in there. You might be able to, but I want to break the mask off. But if you look, you might be able to just to put the axe right in that little gap there. And uh, it'll you can reenact part, moving, uh, part in the movie. Where he gets uh, X to the head and then he does it, arm things to the screen, and ah, it comes after you. So I tried. All right, we tried, Jason. You know, why don't you take a break? There we go. So now, this is part of it that scares me too. When I know when it says removable heads, I know you can, but oh, just to do that, it was like, okay, that was pretty simple. Cool. I like that. Uh, I've never had figures that can do that. And if I do, I have them sealed up and I never open them. But the fact that able to play with this one has been a lot of fun and it just pops on you hear a little click and there it is that's how simple it is you just easily pop it off and put it back on it's awesome so you gotta have the, i gotta have the right mass of the right head so there we go that works look how cool that is man i love it i'm telling you this is such a rad figure i'm loving it so if you look at the straps in the back just you know it doesn't need to be attached to them because you, you, you want them to be able to just easily be removed and come off and on. And it's just like that. Simple. See? And the same with the head, too. It's so easy. Look at that detail, man. I'm telling you. It's so sick. Oh, I'm going to put the mask on again? Okay. All right. You can tell I'm enjoying that part, right? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Pop. That's it. And then let's put it back in. Same hole. Boom. Right there. That's simple. Look how cool that is. You know? So every time you want to change it up a little bit, just put a different mask on, different head, and you're good to go. Jason's ready. He's ready to go. Look at that. There we go. So, again, 
a little more with the articulation. The clothing's awesome. You know, it's kind of look new. It's, it's not all weathered like it is in the movie because, you know, maybe he's just now about to head out to the night. So he just got his clothes on. He's ready to go. So later on in the movie, they make him get bad and dirty once he gets hung up and starts fighting with the kids. But for right now, clothes looking on point. The articulation's awesome. The boots is awesome. The display is awesome. Look at that. Yep, there's a the hole. Like I said, you can either put the right foot or the left foot in there. Either one will work. Interchangeable hands, interchangeable head. I mean, all in all, after I mean, this 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 figure is awesome. So if you guys were weren't sure about getting it, you know, or if you love Part Three, this is no brainer. You have to get this figure. Um, but for me, I'm super stoked. Like I said, I it was gifted to me, and um, I'm super excited to um, share this with you guys. Um, I'm not a professional toy reviewer, but I do, I have been collecting toys, um, and I've always loved toys as a kid, so, um, just to be able to show you that, guys this, is so much fun, and actually open a box, um, I might have to maybe start doing some more, because this is a lot of fun, <laughs> um, I might have to just buy two, one to keep in a box, one to open, uh, but look at that, it's just, I mean, it's so cool, like, who would have thought, like, growing up, we'd have figures of Jason and Freddie and Michael Myers, right? Um, it was the only things we could dream of to, to, to have. Now I could have him, Jason, fight a He-Man or Thundercats or Transformers. Um, so I just want to show the different hand too. Or just oh, here it is. Here's the one with the trigger. Um, I put. I think I put the gun on it first and then put his hand on it. Yeah. So I think that was sticking out a little bit. But if you look, here we go. There it is. Boom. Now you know someone's got. Can you see that? Because someone's about to lose their their sight here in a second once they uh like right into that spear careful there it is 3d watch out so here you go just one little last shot of the figure and it's displayed with the machete with the mask one of the different hands that you can change with like that six interchangeable hands the bloody up machete uh, all in all I mean, this figure is amazing i love it it is so awesome i've got it displayed already um again if you were weren't sure about it Man, you know, get, do yourself a favor and purchase this. This is, Mesco did a fantastic job. And there you go. So one last look. Again, hope you liked this little tour review. Um, I might do some more. If you did, hit that like button. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.